it's been a special day for all of us for a lot of reasons, but we're so happy to have the Wilkerson family now here in Hammond and uh, now the pastor and first lady and first family of our church. We thank God for his, his uh, sovereignty. We thank God that he has watched over us these past many months and that we're excited about our future. I'd like for you to meet the Wilkerson family again, if you don't mind, folks, to come on back up here. And we introduced them this morning, but many of you were in departments all over the property here, and uh, teenagers were in their departments. But we, uh, we want to make sure that everyone gets a chance on this first Sunday to, to meet uh, the Wilkerson family. Brother Wilkerson, if you would come and introduce them and your guests today. Her. All right, this is my wife Linda, and of course uh, you, know, you know of her, and then we have two other sons back in California, and Derek and Preston, they had the opportunity to be on the video screen this morning, you can see them this morning, but um, they are in, a, in the last two weeks of their basketball season, and so they are staying back, their coach wants them to live with him, believe it or not, so they can finish the year off and then on uh, March the 1st I'll fly out there and watch them play their last conference final and then bring them back on March the 2nd on a Saturday evening. Then after uh, Derek and Preston then we have Lydia, our beautiful 13 year old and then Drew, he is in 6th grade, Coleman is in 5th grade and then Judson right here, he's a 2nd grader and then Mason is in kindergarten K-5 and then this is our, our Lacey, she's 2 years old, can you say everybody hi, can you say hi to everybody, there we go, good. And she's our two-year-old. We sure love her. And uh, we thank you so much for all the kindness you've extended to us already. Uh, this morning, going home in the van and reading the notes from the different departments and things of that nature, just once again, ever so humbling. And we're just very grateful for your generosity, your kindness to us. You're just really over the top, and we're, we're very thankful for that. Would you introduce your family up here? I would be glad to do that. Would you have Mom, Mom and Jim, would you please stand, if you would, please? This is uh, my precious dad and mom. I'm so thankful. My dad went home to be with the Lord in 1995, but six years ago, uh, Jim stepped into that role, and we're so grateful. He's a wonderful husband uh, to my mom, Janelle. And uh, they're from Knoxville, Tennessee. They go to Brother Clarence Sexton's church there. And that's where, that's their pastor, and we're very grateful for them to make the drive up. Then my brother Luke and his daughter Morgan. And Morgan, would you stand if you would please? My brother Luke is a, um, a Christian school teacher in Logansville, Georgia, there at his church. And then they have four children. He and his wife Jan are very faithful there. And we thank you so much for coming up. And then my brother Mark and Lori, Caleb, would you guys stand together? Abby and Macy, and then Colin right here. My brother Mark and Lori, they serve the Lord in, um, at the Maranatha Baptist Church in Rantoul, Illinois. And he's the pastor there and uh, had services this morning, this afternoon, and then made their way up this evening. We're grateful that you came, and I sure love them. I have one other brother, Matt Wilkerson, who, is a, um, who works in um, Dallas, Texas as, a, as an assistant pastor there, and then our sister Jana and um, uh, my sister Mary, both of them serve the Lord, Jan in, in Virginia, and then my sister Mary there in Long Beach with us. Let's give them a hand. Thank you, folks. You can head back down. We wanted you to meet them. We did not, uh, we want, many of you were not here this morning, and uh, we appreciate the extended family coming to be with us, to be with us this evening. Now, uh, to our church family, this is not anything new. We have ordained and um, sent out mission teams and so forth with a ceremonial type service called the laying on of hands. And uh, what this, this represents is usually in, throughout scripture when a man of God was being set forth to a specific task or going on a missionary journey or being set aside for a special ministry, it was often done to where they, the laying on of hands symbolizing the spirit, the presence of God upon his ministry and their future. And that's what we'd like to do tonight to Brother Wilkerson as a church family and uh, not inaugurate, but, but uh, many call it installation service, but I, I like to use the term ordain him to be our pastor. Our deacons nominated him and our deacon uh, Pulpit committee nominated him, or deacon board voted on him, and our church ratified him. But as a whole, I want us to pray for him. And I want our deacon board, if you would, all over the house, if you'd make your way to the front of the auditorium here. 
And if you would, let's try to get as many of you as can on this side of the lower floor. Also, ushers, if there are folks still in the hallway, ask them to come in at this time, and I want everyone to be a part of this as much as we can. Um, while we're, you'll just stand at the uh, altars there, and just uh, get as close as you can all the way around. Others are coming, and you can stand down front here. All right. I'm going to ask Brother Colston to come and add an ordination. We have an ordination Bible, and he was going to present that. But before he does, my wife is somewhere over here. She is here, and she's going to give Mrs. Wilkerson a... Uh, normally, we give a uh, someone being orna or ordained, their wife, a bouquet or a corsage. We're giving her, Mrs. Wilkerson, a bouquet of roses. And uh, we appreciate all that she is doing and going to do here at First Baptist. We appreciate her willing to change her location and her whole life to be with us here. Let's give her a hand. <laughs> Brother Colston, if you'd come. It is my esteemed pleasure and privilege to present the ordination Bible. I want to read just a verse from 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 2. The things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. In this room, there are those who were responsible for the teaching of our pastor. We have many instructors here, teachers, those who took the Bible along with their lesson material and gave proper and good instruction to their students. One such student was John Wilkerson. Those of you who instructed him were privileged to teach a faithful man. It mentions here those who were good soldiers, it mentions those who, of course, were uh, taught by uh, the Apostle Paul, including Timothy. Those of you who today, who taught him, you must feel a kind of pride, justifiable so, or justifiably so, and uh, yet uh, your servants, you ran bus routes, you Captain Routes, you uh, taught Sunday school classes, and you likewise are faithful people. In your classes, you taught those who were good students, and yet they didn't all become faithful men. There were those of you, of course, who taught those who became good soldiers, and that's so very vital, but uh, not even all of those were faithful men. Isn't it good to have a man who is not only a good soldier of Jesus Christ, but he's a faithful man, and so it's with a lot of joy in my own soul to present this ordination Bible to our preacher, John Wilkerson, your ordination Bible.
Now, Brother Wilkerson, I'll ask if you would uh, just kneel on that second uh, step there, and uh, gentlemen, if you would just uh, maybe spread out a little bit and, and uh, just kneel down there while these men are praying, and, and we have two groups of men that will lay hands on him, officers of the board, and those that are on the pulpit committee will be the second group, or another, uh, yeah, the first group will be the pulpit committee, then the officers of the, of the board will be the second group. You're welcome to watch during this time. I'll ask all the deacons to go ahead and kneel at this time, and um, you can you can take pictures, just be quiet during this time. You can listen in as they pray, but we'll take a moment and then we'll, uh, we'll go on from here. I'm going to ask Pastor Mark Wilkerson to come at this time and pray for his brother, our pastor, and close the laying on of hands. Dear Heavenly Father, we're so thankful for your Christ's love that you've demonstrated through the life of the Lord Jesus Christ and the blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary for our wicked sins. Lord, as we come to you tonight as a church body, we're thankful that you provide just what we need in just the time that we need it. You're such a gracious and, and um, loving God. Lord, I, at this time, I want to ask for your blessing upon my brother John, upon his family, and upon this church. Lord, as they unite together to, to strive together for the work of the gospel, 
I pray may this be a day of beginnings to great works done for your glory, for your honor. We glorify you for who you are, what you've done in the past, what you're doing today in our lives and in our hearts, but Lord, also upon what you're going to be doing in the future in this Chicago land area. We love you, Lord, because you first loved us. And we pray and ask these things in the name of our precious Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And gentlemen, if you stand, let's congratulate Brother Wilkerson as the pastor of the First Baptist Church of Hammond. Thank you very much, church family. And very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're very kind. Thank you. I feel very honored to be in the same room with you. Could never dream in a thousand years that I would have the opportunity to serve God together with you in a personal way. And I'm very grateful for that. I'm looking forward to getting to know the deacons of our church. And uh, these are great men. I'll, I'll not soon forget, I don't know if I'll ever forget, the potluck we had together out at the, at the high school. And I look forward to, to more of those and more time to get together and get to know you. I like to eat. And I think <laughs> you can tell by the looks of some of you, you're with me on that, right? <laughs> right, Brother Burke? Huh? Huh? All right. Uh, thank you, man. Thank you for praying for us. Thank you for loving. Thank you for supporting the work of God here at First Baptist of Hammond. Thank you, church family, for all that you've done to make our arrival such a very smooth and, and a blessed situation. We're so grateful for that. So I thought about tonight, I thought, you know, I, I, am, I don't know what would go on the epitaph of my grave if I died today. I wish someone would put, I wish it would be okay to put a man, a life only God could explain. That's what I, that would be my goal. But um, I think if, if I died today, I'd probably have to put there a man who'd been given much. I, I received salvation at the age of six years old. It was free. I merited nothing. God gave it to me for free. I have gave a godly mom and a precious dad. My dad loved this place so much. My dad resigned as a pastor in 1972, 73. And he came here in 1975 or 76 for a pastor school, don't quit. And he always said, I wish I would have gone to pastor school before I resigned because I think I could have still stayed in the ministry. And he turned his attention on six children, and uh, he loved us so very much. And much of his inspiration came from this place right here. When I was 18 and time to go off to college, he said, I want you to go to that place. And I went because he was bigger than me. No, I just said, <laughs> I too enjoyed coming to this place. And it was there that I also got another gift. I got the gift of a mate in Linda. What a precious friend she has been. I love you, sweetheart. I thank you so much for loving me. And I've been gifted so many things. I had the gift of serving the Lord as a school teacher for 11 years, never knowing I'd ever be a pastor, not even aspiring to be a pastor. But then one day on August, the, excuse me, on April the 18th, 2000, I had a, a deacon call me and ask me to consider being the pastor of First Baptist Church of Long Beach, which was a wonderful gift of God. Nothing, I, I, I never filled out a resume to do that. I never thought I could ever do that. But the Lord in his mercy and his kindness gifted me with the chance to pastor precious people. And tonight, I've been gifted with you. And uh, I'm very honored to be a part of the First Baptist Church of Hammond. I'm very honored to be able to serve God with you. And I don't think there's another man alive that, could say with the magnitude and the feelings that I feel tonight with any more seriousness than 
I have probably been given the biggest gift of people that anyone has ever been given. And I'm very grateful for that. And you're not just regular people. The rank and file of First Baptist Hammond are some of the most unbelievable, sacrificial, selfless, hardworking, generous people that I've ever had the chance to interact with. And I've only been here a few days. And I want to thank you for that. I want to thank you for giving to the Lord. I thank you for serving the Lord. If, I, if you hadn't done what you did, I couldn't be here where I am now. If you had not held up the banner high for decades, I talked to one lady, she's been here 83 years in this ministry. Miss, I think Miss Steffi, if I'm not mistaken, maybe somebody else. But if you hadn't been where you were doing what you're doing, I couldn't be here now saying what I'm saying. And I say that for all the deacons, your precious wives, your families, the choir, the staff, the faculty of the college. And uh, I'm very honored to be here. Thank you. And I want to th say again, I thank God for Brother Eddie and Miss uh, Jamie Lapina. Unbelievable blessings to me and uh, to this church. We owe them a great debt of gratitude. I think it would be appropriate to, to approach. Appreciate them again. Thank you. I'm very honored to be here. Thank you for praying for me. Please don't stop. And uh, I'll, I'll need the Lord so badly. And I want to be a good pastor to you. My wife wants, uh, wants to be a good servant to the work of God here. We want to be like you. We want to just be one of you. And we pray that the common people will gladly serve the Lord with us. And uh, it'll be a place where God's word will be heard and God's love will be felt and God's name will be exalted. That is our goal. I also like to just say quickly how grateful I am for my predecessors, all of them. So many wonderful things that I am piggybacking on as a pastor. I could not do were it not for those who laid the groundwork before me. And I have a deep gret of gratitude for every single pastor that has pastored this wonderful place. And I owe them, and uh, we love them. And we're praying for them. And we thank God. I had the joy to talk to Mrs. Hiles recently. And I called her there in Texas and spoke with her. And she spoke how much she loved this church. And how she would be praying for us and praying for me. And I appreciate that. And uh, I just love you very much. We're honored to be here. Thank you for the beautiful Bible. Thank you for all the beautiful gifts. Most of all, thank you for you. We love you. And we pray that God will help us to have many years of serving Christ together.